The global cryptocurrency market managed to make a few strides in the positive direction as bulls took over, taking Bitcoin above the crucial 17,000 US dollar mark. However, the larger environment still remains shaky, while a little less volatile, shaky nonetheless. Hi everyone, welcome back to Voice of Crypto's Daily News Wrap, where we talk about all things crypto, blockchain and Web 3.0. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the global cryptocurrency market, the global crypto market cap, and some of the top crypto assets. We'll also be taking a look at the top gainers, losers, and some of the biggest news of the day. But before that, let's take a quick look at the top news of the day. A recent survey by Finbold highlighted that Ripple was one of the only firms in the top 10 leading unicorns in the United States by market valuation. Ripple was the only firm from the blockchain crypto web3 space that made it to this list. Despite the conundrum and chaos around the Ripple versus SEC case, Ripple has maintained that certain valuation that it needed to make to this list. Other participants or other companies that were a part of this list were SpaceX, Stripe, Instacart, Databricks, Epic Games, Fanatics, Shime, Miro, Discord, followed by Ripple at the 10th spot. Nonetheless, Ripple did make it to the list and was one of the only uh, Web3 firms that did, in fact, made it to the list. The FTX fall is one that investors and traders in the cryptocurrency market will not forget for a very long time. Um, amid the many exchange wars that have been happening with the, with the macro environment still shaky, Coinbase CEO and co-founder Brian Armstrong recently said that he doesn't care how, how messy a person's accounting is, but you are going to notice an extra $8 billion to spend. Brian Armstrong claimed that SBF stole customers' money and used it in hedge funds. This is how he was able to uh, keep the firm running. How strong his claims were is something that only time will tell us. That said, with the larger market uncertainty still looming over the cryptocurrency market as regulatory concerns still bother investors and traders, Nexo, which is one of the biggest firms that, operate, that operated out of the United States, has announced a gradual departure from the US. In a press release, the firm said that they are announcing a regrettable but necessary decision that um, they are going to gradually move away from the United States markets. And this comes after eight months of good faith dialogue with the U.S. state and federal regulators, which has come to a dead end. So basically, their communication with the regulators has now come to a dead end, which has forced the company to leave the U.S. markets. Despite the bad news going around in the market, there are still a few news pieces that were good and bullish for the larger cryptocurrency narrative, the larger blockchain adoption narrative. And one of them was that Indonesia Central Bank recently said that digital rupiah currency can be used in the metaverse. So this means that the country is taking strides in the Web3 realm. In another news, the crypto broker Genesis apparently owes Gemini customers around 900 million. The news says that the crypto broker Genesis owes the customers of Wilkenwas Twins crypto exchange Gemini uh, over 900 million US dollar, according to the reports by Financial Times that were released on this Saturday. Bloomberg commodity strategist Mike McGlone recently said that Ethereum will come out ahead due to smart contracts platforms having a solid functionality. He also said that the crypto bear market might be heading towards an end, thus leaving a tiny speck of hope for all the investors and traders out there. But what did the global crypto market say about the larger narrative? Well, the global crypto market cap fell by 0.19% over the last day. While it isn't that big a loss in terms of price, it stood at around 850 billion US dollar and it has managed to gain some ground from the lower uh, below 800 billion US dollar mark. Uh, 
A look at Bitcoin suggested that while BTC was up on the weekly chart, Bitcoin was down on the daily as well as the hourly chart. Bitcoin managed to breach the 17,000 US dollar mark, but BTC, as we can see, is below that mark. And this 17,000 US dollar mark has acted uh, as a crucial uh, support resistance mark, but BTC's price had sort of left this support resistance mark. Moving on, Ethereum, the king altcoin, was down by over 1% on the hourly as well as daily chart. However, ETH was still up by uh, around 7% on the weekly, which gave some hope to ETH investors, at least, at least looking at ETH's uh, long-term trajectory. However, altcoins weren't no different. They largely followed Bitcoin's momentum. BNB was down by over 1% on the daily around 1.8% on the weekly. XRP was down by over 2% on the hourly chart. Quite a big fall for XRP in the short term. However, um, we can see that on a weekly chart, there weren't uh, there weren't any gains or losses. XRP was down by a mere 0.41%. Whether XRP bulls will be able to push XRP's price above uh, the key support level uh, uh, that is at the 0.35 mark is something that still remains to be seen. Dogecoin, no major momentum, but still up by over 5% on the weekly. However, Doge is down by 2% and almost 4%, 3.5% uh, on the hourly and daily chart. Cardano, again, not in a very great state, down by 1.24% on the hourly, 1.74% on the daily chart. Polygon, however, has been doing pretty good on its weekly charts. It's up by 10% still, despite the fall of 1.67% on the hourly and 1.57% on the daily. Polygon, um, if our viewers remember, was able to make quite a bit of strides in the upward direction as price gained quite a bit of momentum and Polygon gains have sort of maintained, but on the short term chart, Polygon is still losing price. A quick look at the top gainers of the day suggests that Axie Infinity is up by over 26%. Um, this gaming coin has gained quite a bit in the last one day. On the weekly chart, it's up by over 30%. However, on the hourly chart, AXS is sort of losing price. It's losing momentum pretty rapidly. Um, it fell from 23 to 2.5% on the hourly in minutes. Uh, second on the list, however, on gains was Kronos, which was up by 5.92%. Phantom came third with 4.81% gains. However, Phantom is doing good in terms of its weekly gains with over 25%. So essentially, uh, Kronos, Phantom, The Sandbox, Litecoin, Synthetix, and Dash were a few gainers in the daily as well as weekly window. Since this is a new week taking off, we'll take a quick look at the top gainers of the last week and see whether they have any potential to rise in this week. Axie Infinity up by over 30%, uh, GMX gained over 26%, Phantom over 25%, Thor Chains, Rune Token over 17%, almost 17% on the weekly. However, if we take a look at all of these coins in their um, hourly chart, we see that they're losing momentum. And uh, in the short term, they can be a little risky to play around with. This, however, is not financial advice. Do your own research on the cryptocurrency market. But for great news, cryptocurrency, Web3 and blockchain related updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you love this video, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll see you tomorrow with more such Web3 blockchain content. Until then, bye bye.